Hello everyone, just wanted to introduce you to three tool wagons which we're currently building for the Royal Australian Air Force. Um, this is another three, part of a number of tool wagons which we supplied to the Air Force over many, many years. Um, the majority of squadrons Australia wide actually run these, these um, tool wagons from their tool store and also deploy them overseas. So these tool wagons are fully towable. <clears throat> As you can see here, there's a tow bar, which when the tow bar is in the in the um, up position, it engages a brake, which um, stops the tool wagon from rolling away. To unhitch the tow bar, you just undo this mechanism and you drop it down. Now the, tow, the tool wagon obviously got a steering mechanism within it. Um, push the tow bar, tow bar back up and, and that will engage the brakes again. It also has fully engineered tie down points to help with the um, transport overseas. This particular squadron has um, opted to go with the optional extra of the canvas covers. This will help with reducing moisture and dust getting into the tool wagons and, and the tools. This is very easy to put away. It's got a little clip here which flips to the other side which keeps it out of the way and holds it back in case of high wind. Each tool wagon is supplied with Two, two cupboards on either side, two high density drawer cabinets in the middle, and then a, a roll up door with a, a workbench and a pegboard in the back where you can add little storage facility. And each cupboard on the side, it comes supplied with two, two pull out drawers, and not shown here, but it also is supplied with two shelves in each cupboard. Uh, these, these you can obviously adjust the height of wherever you want to put them. Um, you can buy extra drawers, so you could fill this up with drawers or shelves, whatever suits your, your requirement. These tool wagons are fully kitted out with uh, full visual tool control, um, with custom foams and laser marking on each, each tool for identification. The same applies to this side. <coughs> As you can see here, they've got, they've, they sit in the drawer a bit higher on this one, so they can fit some taller tools in. They could put another drawer above it if they want to. Store things like buckets or whatever on this side. We're just going through the tool wagon. This particular tool wagon is set up with a decent variety of tools. You can see screwdrivers and some quarter inch sockets. <coughs> the brand of these sockets in this in this cabinet is Star Willy. We've gone with the with the Weha screwdrivers, another German made product. <coughs> some files and scissors and cutting tools. Some inspection and lighting. You got some marshalling wands. Uh, each each of the tools are all laser etched with a kit number for identification, which is unique to the kit. <coughs> some more screwdrivers in this drawer. Pliers and wire twist twisting pliers in this drawer. Some three eighth drive socketry and drive tools. Some torque wrenches, Star Willy torque wrenches um, in here and some crow's feet. Some adjustable wrenches and spanners. Some more spanners in this drawer. As you can see here we've taken these tools out just to show you how the, uh, the tool shadow works. Obviously when the tool's out you can easily identify that the tool is missing. Some more wrenches in this drawer again, some more open-ended wrenches, some ratcheting wrenches, <clears throat> some larger sockets, three-quarter inch drive, some half-inch drive sockets, again all star willy, and then finally some hammers and punches. So yeah, there you have it. This is we do a lot of these tool wagons and we always fully customise them to suit your requirement and we would love to hear from you if you think you have a requirement. Thank you.